guys, your maths tutor here, Mr. Kauma. So, we've been looking at calculus. We looked at finding derivatives. Now we're going to go a step further. We're going to look at finding equation of a tangent. So, this is an easy thing. I'll take you through the steps. There are only three steps. Number one, you should find dy dx, which we looked at last week. Then number two, you find m. m stands for gradient. Then number three, this is the formula you use. y minus y1 is equals to m gradient and x minus x1. So uh, we have two examples and I know you are going to get it with the two examples. So number one, find the equation of the tangent of the following. So the solution, solution, the first thing is this. We find dy dx. How we find dy dx, you remember. This will be dy dx. We first start by multiplying this power, the constant. So 2 times 3, 6x. Then you subtract to be 2 minus 1. So dy dx here will be 6x. You have found your first step. The next thing now is to find your gradient. The gradient, you, you use this, your derivative. You're just going to put m is equal to 6x. So I've just replaced the dy dx with m. So m is equal to, have you seen these points that have given us? They've given us 1, 3. So this is x, this is y. Always, the first uh, number is the x, second number is the y. So you have 6, then x is 1, you put 1. So m is equal to 6 times 1, 6. So that's your m. Found your first step, second step. Then the last step now is to use this uh, formula. So you have y minus y1 is equal to m the x minus x1. So this m stands for gradient. This y, where there's nothing, and the x y there's nothing, you don't put anything. So I'm just going to put y minus y1. y1 is here on the coordinates, which is 3. So 3 is equals to m, I found 6. So I'll put 6. x, I don't put anything, as I said. So I'll put x minus x1. x1 is this. What you have been given. So 1 here. So y minus 3 is equals to 6 times x. 6x. You are now breaking the brackets. 6 times negative 1, negative 6. So what you are going to do is group the like terms. This will be y is equals to 6x minus 6. This is negative 3 goes the other side, positive 3. So y is equals to 6x negative 6 plus 3. This will give you negative 3. Uh, that's algebra. So this is your final answer. The y should always be alone. Then this is your equation of the tangent. So if you are not clear, just pause the video and go through. So now we are looking at the last example. We have y is equals to x squared minus 2x minus 3. At point x is equals to 3. So what you are going to do, the difference between this example and this example is that the first example they have given you the y, which is, they have given you the y, which is 3. Here we have only been given the x. So you need to find y before you do anything. So this will be, you write your equation, x squared minus 2x minus 3. So where does x you put 3? So y is equals to 3 squared minus 2 in brackets 3 minus 3. So y is equals to 0. If you punch in this, this is a paper 2 question. So if you punch this on your calculator, it will give you 0. So now we are good to go. We have our x which is 3 and our y which is 0. So now we are going to, we are going to find the first step, the derivative. So derivative of, of that will be this will be 2 times 1, which will give us 2x minus, this is, there's 1 here, 1 times 2, which is 2. Then anything to the power 0, because we know 1 minus 1 is 0. 
anything to the power 0, you don't include it. So your dy dx is this. Simple. Then we're going to find our gradient, which I said you replace the dy dx with m. So m is equals to 2x minus 2. So m is equals to, where there's x, this is x, this is y. So where there's x, I'm going to put 3. So this will be 2, then 3, minus 2. So m is equals to 2 times 3, 6, minus 2. So m is equals to 4. So that's the second step, you have found your gradient. Then finally, you find your equation of the tangent using the formula. You should memorize this. I won't give you the example. So I have y minus y1 0 here. Then m is 4. x you don't write. x1 you write 3. So y minus 0 is equal to this form as break this. So 4 times x is 4x. 4 times negative 3, negative 12. So y is equals to 4x minus 12 plus 0. So therefore, the final answer is 4x minus 12. So yeah. So that's it about this, uh, this topic. I hope you go through more questions. I've sent the assignment. Please take your time and you'll get it. Cheers.